was praying about love and I was asking the Spirit and, and the Spirit says, love has no object. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot different from earthly love. You know, I love my husband, my wife, my children, my, I love the, the Dodgers, I love the Yankees, you know. It, it's always, I love and there's something after it. You don't really see license plates with I heart or I, I love on it. It's bumper stickers, I love something, it's some object there. So, I think what you're on to is the, the sense of that true intimacy, true love, has a continuity that is within us and wants to just radiate through us, you know, and extend. And when we try to look for the continuity and form through the ego, it's very, very disappointing. Our expectations are always dashed. And that relates to what I talked about with, with going from looking for love in interpersonal relationships to getting into my higher calling and my purpose, to reconnect with the Source and feel that continuity without any dependence on the form. So it, the form didn't have to be a certain way for me to feel that, that joy and continuity. And I think, you know, they're like Mother Teresa, St. Francis, you know, on and on, all the mystics and saints, that's where their devotion was. They wanted to connect with the Source and then radiate that connection to everything and everyone. You know, like Mother Teresa said, look for, look for Jesus in everyone. See the Christ in everyone. Good practice to that kind of agape, unconditional love that's not so specific. In fact, there's a, a movie I watched recently, I've shown it to the community and watched it over and over. I think it's, it's a documentary on this woman called Dolores Hart and the title of it was an HBO special called God is the Bigger Elvis. <laughs> and I thought, that's an interesting title, God is the Bigger Elvis. Absolutely spectacular, because what it is, is Dolores Hart was, was Elvis's first on-screen kiss. She was an actress, mm. and she kissed Elvis on screen, <laughs> and her career <laughs> took off. She was then a leading lady, you're kissing Elvis, the first on-screen kiss with Elvis, if you kiss the king, well, then you're the queen. And she became a really famous actress. And she starred with, you know, famous actors of the time, you know, Tony Curtis and on and on. And she had a huge career. In fact, there was like four studios back then that offered her a contract of in excess of a million dollars, which a million dollars back in those days was a lot of money for anybody. And so she was very famous, she was this, and then one time when she was doing some Broadway plays and everything, she was very tired and everything, she wanted to take a rest and so they, a friend of hers said, why don't you go to this convent up in New England and just rest? And she said, I don't want to be around a bunch of nuns, you know, it's just creepy, you know. And so basically her friend said, come on, lay the judgments aside, why don't you go up there? So she goes up there and she feels this deep presence in this convent and she starts to get a calling, but she's terrified of the calling because she's like the leading lady, she's, she's dating all these, you know, she's got everything the world can offer and, and it's kind of like this going on. So she goes to the, the, the mother prioress or the, the woman who's like the mother superior kind of character and she says, after a couple of visits, she says, do you think I have a calling, you know, to be a nun? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the woman goes, oh no, go make your movies. You know, she's like, oh, so relieved, <laughs> God. <laughs> so she goes out, she makes more movies, she this and this. She, she finds, she falls in love with this man, I think he's like an architect, and she's already engaged to get married, and just when they're engaged to get married, she gets this huge feeling inside of her, like you were talking about, this huge presence feeling. And her calling comes in so strong. And so she has to tell the man that she's engaged to that she's leaving Hollywood, <laughs> leaving her whole life behind, she's going to go join this convent. 
And this man is, is he's a Catholic, he's just like, I, I love Jesus, I, I love, let's just live our life and love Jesus together, you know, this is, but, but what are you talking about? A convent? Oh, you can't believe it, you know. And a commitment is a commitment, and you know, all this thing. So she's called into the convent, and hmm. she becomes eventually the, the mother prioress, and it shows all of her experiences, hmm. and it's an HBO documentary where she basically left behind Hollywood, all of this, and even an engagement to become a nun. And, and this man who she was engaged to comes and visits the monastery regularly for 30 years. Wow. And it shows them coming together at the monastery. It's just like an amazing movie because they keep coming together. You can feel all this intense love and she's got her commitment and he's never stopped loving her. Even though they didn't get married, he's come for 30 years, you know, to this convent. And you can see it in his eyes. And it's a transcendent love that transcends this world. And then they'll shoot the scenes where she'll, they'll hug and they'll have a kiss. And then he'll turn and go and walk down the corridor and go, go his way. And she'll turn to Jesus. You know, she turns to, the, to Jesus who's right there because that's what she's she's making this transcendent commitment to a divine union and she loves Don the man's name is Don and she loves Jesus and it's a great movie I would recommend um, I've shown it God is the bigger Elvis uh, to our community just as a way of, mm. of starting to, to tap into that that love that's higher than a love that we know of in terms of you know interpersonal relationships it's amazing mm.